Good morning, my vibrations. It's V to the I to the B to the mother of 5E. And it is Wednesday morning. We are at the 63rd verse of Change Your Thoughts, Change Your Life by Dr. Wayne Dyer out of 81 verses. Today's verse is Living Without Difficulties. Practice non-action. Work without doing. Taste the tasteless. Magnify the small. Increase the few. Reward bitterness with care. See simplicity in the complicated. Achieve greatness in little things. Take on difficulties while they are still easy. Do great things while they are still small. The sage does not attempt anything very big and thus achieves greatness. If you agree too easily, you will be too... You will be little trusted because the sage always confronts difficulties. He never experiences them. Ooh. This verse conveys so much with an economical use of words. Every time I read what Lao Tzu is saying here, I feel that it's impossible for me to experience difficulties in my life if I'm willing to accept his sage advice. He counsels that we learn to think in moments rather than in days, weeks, months, years, decades, or a lifetime. All we ever get is right now. That's it. So we must avoid the inclination to magnify tiny events or worry about a future that may never arrive. It's the little things that make all the difference in our world and keeping little simple replaces chaos. As Lao Tzu reminds us, see simplicity in the complicated. Do great things while they are still small. I followed that advice while working on this book. As you might imagine, writing individual essays on the 81 verses of one of the most revered and enduring spiritual texts has been a daunting task. A project like this involves at least a year of daily researching, reading, writing, and revising. Yet, instead of focusing on the challenges of this project, I choose to see simplicity and take on difficulties while they are still easy. I immerse myself in a single verse in the morning, allowing the words to flow through my heart and onto the page. I feel like I've mastered the ironic conclusion of this 63rd passage, which says that difficulties are not experienced when they are confronted. This, then, is the wisdom of this verse. There's no such thing as difficulty when you live in the present moment, doing only what you can right now. So examine your thoughts about what you call the troubles in your life. Can you shift to thinking of every undertaking as not only manageable, but easy and small as well? After all, how do you pursue a difficult course of study that will take several years to complete by not projecting yourself into the future or using your present moments to worry? How do you get through the long, difficult process of giving birth to a child, moment by moment? I've watched my wife do so, do just that during the years she has either Pre she she was either pregnant or nursing, delivering five children in eight years. As Lao Tzu teaches, if you don't attempt anything big, you will achieve greatness. Almost every morning, I do a 90-minute hot yoga class with 26 postures and two breathing exercises. Now, an hour and a half of intense activity in a room that's more than 105 degrees can seem hot only big can seem not only big, but very difficult as well. I've learned to change the way I think about this daily routine that I enjoy so much, and now I find it to be easy. As the first breathing exercise begins, I keep my mind and body totally focused on what I'm doing in the opening moment. If my mind wants to wander to what I'll be doing in an hour, I just bring it back to the present. I look in the mirror and remind myself that this exercise or posture is small and simple. Bingo, difficult is out of the picture. By practicing in the present moment and training myself to stay in a state of simplicity, I've made my 90-minute yoga class a snap. I've achieved what I consider to be greatness in the little progress, in the little progressions and improvements that have evolved naturally. It's work without doing and non-action and inaction because I've confronted what might have been thought of as tough. The result is that I don't experience difficulty. Lao Tzu urges you to change the way you look at your 21st century world by doing the following. Look for the simplicity in what you call complicated by seeing that in this moment, it's not hard. <sighs> Working on it. Change your preoccupation with tomorrow. Along with all of the tomorrows that com 
com comprise your future, my friend Byron Katie, whose husband Stephen Mitchell, created a wonderful translation of the Tao Te Ching that I've incorporated in this book, gave my favorite definition of insanity. To believe that you need what you don't have is insane, I'd add. Believing that, I'd add, believing that you can't be content and happy now because your future appears to you to be difficult is another form of insanity. Look at what you have and realize that you're obviously fine in this moment. A Course in Miracles states this idea so well. You have no problems, though you think you have. Think small. Change your notion of thinking big to thinking small and getting things done. Imagine, and getting Change your notion of thinking big to thinking small and getting big things done. Imagine, examine whatever it is that seems so enormous that it terrifies you to start. Then shift your thinking to see what can be done today in your precious present moments, completely ignoring the overall picture. Your accomplishments will go your accomplishments will magnify into greatness when you undertake the small by doing so. You'll paradoxically see huge results and this is what i did yesterday with having to um get this paperwork done for ssi i did what i could do now instead of worrying about the bigger picture was was to get in contact with ann and set up a time for us to talk so perfect here's do the dow now set aside some time today to focus on the biggest challenge in your life break down whatever it is to one thing that can be done today, right in this moment. Erase the big picture. Sim simply do what you can now and let everything else fade. Write the opening paragraph of your novel. Lay out your blueprint for your home you want to build. Sign up for one course at a local educational institution. Go for a two-minute run. Be in the now. See how doing the Tao at this moment brings big results by paradoxically staying small and simple. And there you have it, the 63rd verse of Change Your Thoughts, Change Your Life by Dr. Wayne Dyer. I will put the do the down now in the description. And I will see you guys later. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have two videos up for you today. My 100 Day Reality Challenge and I am getting um, a cleaning video up for you. Um, because I have the two cleaning videos I have, um, still have my Scentsy videos. Like the, like today's, um, verse was saying to actually take the, take the big things and make them small. So that's what I've been doing. And for, for this couple of days, the big things to me have been things that going on in my, in my life and really not YouTube. So I apologize for not having all those videos up, but this week I, I am work, really working on them. I just need to get, keep myself in a mind state of not stressing myself. And sometimes editing is a little stressful. So I'm trying to one thing at a time. So I'll see you guys later. Have a good day.